Hello, everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. For who are new here, my name is Yu Ling. In this channel, I would like to create a space for us to share art and the life experience together. How is everyone doing? It's been over a year since my first video was published. I really enjoy reading your comments, including sharing your thoughts of my paintings and the life experience, which has made me feel closer to you all. In my previous video, there is one comment that really caught my eyes and got me think twice about the message that I sent out through my art. As artists. We might express our emotions in our artwork intentionally or unconsciously. Sometimes the viewers receive a different message from my intention, which is so fascinating to me. Some friends have been with me for a while. I feel like we are building a special bond through my art. We might not know each other, but share similar emotions with each other. When I created this channel, I told myself that I wanted to be a positive person who always conveys uplifting energy to everyone. However, am I always happy? Honestly, no. I have been through some tough situations in my life. I tried to pretend that everything was fine or going to be. Did it work? Not really. During the past few weeks, I honestly felt depressed. First of all, my health had become a resistance for me to complete my projects. That's why I was worried. Next, I was stressed by my work environment and situation. That's why I was debating with myself if I needed to make some changes. Finally, some projects did not meet my own expectations, so I was disappointed. I'm not going to lie that I felt awful. Frankly, I was so tired of feeling this way and wished I could somehow shake myself out of the blue moon. When I created my videos, I did not want to be vulnerable and show my weakness to you. However, when I penned it, I unconsciously expressed my emotions in my artwork. That's why when I saw that particular comment, oddly depressing yet pretty, I was so touched and shocked. The power of art is so amazing that we can communicate without words. I have found out. Mm, no, actually, I was told that I had been pretending. That I was fine. Was it shocking to know that? Not really. I'm fully aware of it, but can I help myself not to pretend? Until 
I am forced to face it right now. Have you caught yourself pretending that everything is fine? Have you thought about why people pretend that they are fine? Do they intentionally or unconsciously pretend that they are fine? You might wonder why people pretend that they are fine. It can be due to lots of reasons, including social pressure, so they have to be strong, or fear of judgment or rejection. So they have to act in a certain way to be accepted. Sometimes people might not even realize that they are pretending. I would say people might just ignore their innermost feelings or don't know how to deal with the reality, which is my own experience. I had pretended that I was fine and everything was going to get better if I kept going. However, I wasn't helping myself to get better. Instead, I had dug a deeper hole for myself. Now I'm inside a hole and can barely breathe or see the light. If you have experienced a similar situation to mine, please leave me a comment. The reason that I share this with you is not to get more sympathy, but to help myself face the pain that I'm going through. The most painful part is that I acknowledge the fact and want to change my thoughts and habits, but I just don't know how to get out that deep hole. I wish I could find a ladder or rope to get out. People told me to focus on being genuine and authentic in my thoughts, actions, and interactions. This means being honest with myself, including expressing my true feelings and opinions. I don't mean that I can just express what's in my mind without considering others' feelings. What I'm trying to say is, that I can just embrace reality as it is and accept myself and others without the need for pretense and facade. Taking a walk is one of my ways for self-care. It seems small for some people, but I barely make time for myself. During walking in nature, I can relax, breathe. Of course, I need to remind myself to breathe sometimes, collect my thoughts, and figure out what I can do next. Looking at kids praying reminds myself to find the original and pure happiness. Kids are purely happy and excited when they are praying in the water or playground. 
They just live in the moment. I ask myself, when was the last time that I laughed from my heart? When was the last time that I felt content without worrying about others' judgment? I constantly put others' needs before mine and try to make sure that people like me. Years after years, I have lost myself. And I'm not happy inside. During this painting process, I focused on only how to create certain effects to achieve the atmosphere that I wanted without any expectations and worries. It. Turn out that I finished this painting sooner than usual, and the result is better than I thought. From this experience, I have learned that the best way to reach my goal is focusing on what I am doing. I worried, what if I couldn't achieve the goal? It's because I live in the past. I let my past experience control what I can do now. On the other hand, I was anxious if the result wouldn't be the way I expected. Then I live in the future. The only key to being successful. Is to live in the present, just like those kids playing in the playground. Focusing on something that you love to do might help for a short period of time. But for the longer term, you still have to face the struggle that is deep in your heart. Trust me, it's hard and very scary. I am emotionally torn and confused about what my next step should be. However, I have realized that I am the only person. Who can help me get out of that blue moon? If you are also experiencing a similar situation to me, you are not alone. Let's have a faith and believe that we will see the light of this dark tunnel sooner or later, as long as. We do not give up. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you like how I created the texture of regressed sky, light effects on green grass, and sunset through the woods. If you do, please drop me a like. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on notifications. If you have any questions regarding my painting process, please feel free to ask me. If you would like to learn how to paint watercolor from me, you can find my classes on Skillshare. The link is in the description. Until next time, please hang in there and happy painting.